Hey, how you doing? It's March. It's March. It's April. April fourth, two thousand twenty-four. Four four twenty twenty-four. How you guys doing? Um, today I'm trying to get schedule a little like my study plan for my series seven. That's kind of what I want to do now. I was thinking between the six and the seven. So the company I work with. Um, requires the six in order to do certain investments for customers for families but i want to do the seven they allowed me to just that i have this time frame that i want to do it as quickly as possible so i can help families but i still do want to get that seven because i learned so much and i'm able to transition to another job easier with the seven that is more opportunities but mostly i do it for the knowledge and a little bit of a challenge but i do want to get those investments those investments, you know, helping people with those investments. Yeah. So I'm in that kind of a, should I, should I not? But here, here I am hesitating and time will fly. So yeah, let's do it. Let's get that seven. And yeah, that's basically about it. Um, so what's the analogy, maybe the lesson in this? Sometimes the things that you want, you can't hesitate. You can't hesitate too much. You can think about it. But once you thought and thought and thought, just take the leap. Take the leap. Take the leap on the things that you won't regret. Certain things you regret if you take too long, and sometimes you'll regret if you don't do it at all. I try to live my life a little bit with not having that regret. Seeing what it was like, seeing like if I was able to do it, but actually try. Certain things I tried and I'm, a, I'm not good at. Or I am, or I could be, but the time I will dedicate to that isn't worth it, so the dream kind of fell off. <laughs> it's basically that. But if I didn't try, I would have thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, and then I would regret not starting earlier, or regret just, just yeah, everything. You know, certain things you just have to try. Try it, get it out of your system, see how it goes. But really try. Think about it, you know. Don't do it willy-nilly. But but don't don't obsess too much if it doesn't turn out the way you want it to. Because that's the thing about life. You want something, you'll get it in a way that you didn't really think that you were going to get it. Or maybe in a different way, maybe you didn't get it and you got something different instead. Something maybe equally as valuable, but in your eyes, it was something that didn't work for you. You know, that's basically it. Learn experience from everything. From bad, from the good, from the unexpected, from the unwanted. But learn it. Remember, I try to remember, if it doesn't work, if it's not helping me, then just forget. If this is an if if this is an experience that's bad, there's something I can get out of this that's good. And if it's totally totally bad, nothing absolutely nothing I can get from it. Then I'll just turn on the leaf and do another new experience. But 99% of the time, there is at least something, at least one little thing. Maybe it's not worth all the effort, but still at least one little thing that I can get from this. And I could bump up my experience points. So yeah, do, do what you want to do that won't make you regret not doing it. And I say, do the things you will regret not doing. Except if it's drugs. If it's hardcore drugs, just don't. What the fuck? D don't. The negatives outweigh the pros. Just don't do it. Absolutely. Hardcore shit? No. Stop. Stop. Other stuff too, like... Well, this is just my personal opinion, but I don't think I should really share that in the internet nowadays, or any day. But, yeah. Don't. Don't mess up your life like that. Certain things, that's the kind of like a no, like a lose-lose situation. 
Because if you think about it, you're trying to do drugs, right? Let's say you th- you think, all right, I want to experience something. You just have to try it once, right? New experience, new experience. All right, that's a that's an interesting interesting thought process. All right, so let's say yes, it's a new experience. What are the options here? You try it once. Oh, I just want to try it once. Okay, you try it once. You see, it's not for you. All right, not bad. But what's the percentage of you getting addicted? That is a high percentage, very high percentage, more higher than most people would like to admit because let their egos, let their oh, I'll just try once and then I got it. You think all those people that got addicted to it didn't fucking think the same way? If you don't, you're delusional. You're fucking delusional. So you there's a percentage of addiction. And let's call it an addiction rate. Let's think about it as a form. So there's an addiction rate. So you try something. You try a drug. You pass through that addiction rate. Let's say 20%, 10%. That's still really high. Out of 10 people that try it once, one of them gets addicted and fucks up their life. So think about that. That's uh, pretty high. I'm sure it's higher. I'm just ballpark. I'm just, you know, ballparking. But yeah. So there's an addiction rate. I don't care if it's 1%. That still could be me. You know, it's just like you have a gun, a Russian roulette with a hundred slots, hundred, you know, for how I say that in English, but, you know, hundred slots, and one of them has a bullet. Unless you're like, like the adrenaline, don't do it. Just don't fuck. So, yeah, certain things are lose lose. You do it, you don't like it, cool, you survive. You do it, there's a percentage that you will like and get addicted, bad. You do it because you like it, why? You do it because a friend, a friend, peer pressures you to do it. And if you don't, and if you do it, you're fucked. And you're just like him, you end up with his life, or you end up getting pretty close to his life. Nah. Why? Why are you going to do yourself like that? In any case, there's lose-lose situations, just like that. But most situations in life, if it's something that you really want, and it's not a thing about emotions, it's not something that will affect your mind, if it's an achievement, a goal, a skill, a new experience that really is calling you, do it. Do it. You won't regret it. You won't regret doing it. You will regret not. Don't hesitate when you finally get that decision made. Go all in.